or a normal pack again. I think my next videos will probably be normal pack. A lot of listings have been coming up in normal pack. Uh, yeah, so today we're looking at a three bedroom townhouse in a complex. Uh, there should be about 23 houses, so it's a mix of two and three bedroom. So that's either two, and this one's the three bedroom. See, on the other side, this side there are two bedroom. So yeah, it's a mix. Very new, brand new complex. Uh, Roma Park is located off Zambezi Road. Um, nearest landmarks is Foxdale Court. Uh, it's a shopping center. You have a supermarket like Pick and Pay at Foxdale Court. Um, yeah, it's a complex managed by the should be Foxdale Residential Project, something like that. They are interested in the beach and the like. Then, uh, yeah, another, I guess, another landmark is the MTN headquarters. Yeah, so it's the complex. You have a swimming pool on that side. I'll sneak in a shot of it during the video. Yeah, so we'll be looking at the three bedroom. Let's go in, get started. Oh, wait, so before we go in for the three bedroom, the parking is there, it has a shade. So you have two cars, two car parking space for the three. We're looking at house number 18. So what we'll do, we we'll work away from the front. Front. This is the main door, main entrance. You see, very spacious, modern. I mean, I think I'm in love with this place. First we have the living room, so very, very spacious living area. So it's a mix of the living and the dining. So you can have your living, your chairs, and like there. So there's also an option for furnished. If you want to take the place furnished, that's at $3,000. And unfurnished is $2,000. So in the, the two bedroom, I also slide some shots in there for the two bedroom. But the two bedroom already looks like finished. Uh, it's the same concept of how they would finish this one. I guess you probably just need bigger chairs and more things because it's a three bedroom naturally. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's continue the tour. So that's our living area. You can have your dining somewhere here. This way we have our kitchen, inbuilt stove there, oven, the like. Lots of storage space for your pots, pans, cups and the like. You can have your fridge here. Yeah, so very modern and the finishing is really high end. Uh, this way you have your pantry. Where's the switch for the pantry? You can see the switch for the pantry. Oh, but there, you know. Yeah, you can see the switch for the pantry. And then hope it's not that dark. But yeah, that's your pantry. Also some more storage behind the door. So you spoiled for space. This is your laundry area, you have your sink there. Have your washing machine underneath. Dishwasher if you like. This door leads to the outside. We'll have a look at that part of the house from when we use when we go to the backyard. Yeah, so that's your living area kitchen tell me what you think uh, so far in the comments okay this way we head to our backyard the backyard is very spacious most places usually this land was must have been really massive because they're they're not they're not uh, they're not stingy with space I guess so each apartment has a good amount, has a good amount of space. Even the two bedrooms are also very spacious. The backyard is also it's, it's quite spacious. Not as big as this, but for a two bedroom, it's pretty spacious. You can't complain. You also have a door here, a gate that leads from your garage. So if you're coming in and you don't, you go all the way around to the main door. You can just pass through here and quick entry into the house. Yeah. So that's our backyard so let's go look at the space I spoke about when we're in the laundry area so there's also a maid's quarter so if you have someone you have help 
uh, you have somewhere to stay. Perfect, it's self-contained. So no need to worry about having a, you know, having a, if you want to help a TV in, you don't need to worry about them commuting or you have someone. Yeah, so this is it. They have the wardrobe there. The bed can come here. The small bed, they put the socket there. Yeah, it's so pretty simple. Though there's no window. So it's a bit tricky. I'm sure that's something that they'll have to address. Though the bathroom does have a window. They have a shower, toilets, and sink. So pretty simple. Sink there, toilet there. That's for me, it's gorgeous. Let's head back into the house so that we can have a look at the upstairs. Yeah, so tell me what you think of the ground floor. My favorite place is the backyard. Like when you're building houses or anything, you should always be, you know, it should be, it should be, it should be a comfortable space. Reminds me of a quote from the richest man in Babylon where he talks about when you, a man should always have a place to stay for his um, his family. And some green in the yard, you know, where the children can play, you know. Makes it feel more like a home when there's enough greenery around. Okay, so before we go up, there's also a guest toilet or powder room here. Just the basics, a toilet there, sink, and mirror. Also some space there for Pencils and the like. Yeah, so that's the ground floor. We head upstairs now. Like, share, subscribe wherever you're watching from. Also, just leave a like because it's another YouTube video. Yeah, that's our ground floor. Now we go up. Okay, so the first thing, the first noticeable thing upstairs is this space. So you can have a, you can also have a second living room here. Uh, you can have your TV there, the sockets are there. It's a very big space. Oh, yeah. We have a game area. You know, put a ping pong table here. This is enough space, eh? Yeah, ping pong table, a pool table. Pool table can fit here. There. Tell me what you would use this space for. Comment below. We also have, I like the suspended lights. It's a unique design. I think they're a different color from the rest now. They're, not, they're all yellow. But yeah, it's a very, makes the place look really unique. Okay, so we'll start with the first secondary bedroom here. This one has a view of the neighbors. It's most obstructed by the water tanks. But the view is, I guess, pretty decent. Can't complain. You have your closet space there. You see, lots of room. Hang your clothes, suits, shoes down there, socks, the like. Also, you have to be pretty tall to access the top one. But there, you probably put stuff that you don't really need access to very often. Here we have the bathroom. So all the bedrooms are self-contained, that's a plus. You have your toilet there, bathtub, and sink. Yeah, so this should open up. Yeah. Store your toothbrushes, cosmetics, the like. You just have a switch here for you know, your shaving, if you can do some home shaving and the like. Next, we go to the next room here on our right. So, similar size, but this one has a better view of the complex. Let's see. Yeah. Reminds me, I guess you can, if you had a balcony, you do that scene from Come to America where he, he shouts, Good morning, my neighbors, and someone responds. But I don't think someone would respond with profanity here. Probably be kinder, but yeah. So this one is self-contained. So the difference, this one, it has a shower. So you have to do 
rock paper scissors to pick I guess depends if you both depends on who prefers the shower and who prefers the bath tub it's uh, yeah hopefully one person prefers the shower one person prefers the bath tub but if not you can do rock paper scissors all right so similar design the only difference is the shower so shower sink toilet Okay, so next, anyway, more closet space there. The aircon's on top, not to forget. So next we go to the master bedroom. The master bedroom, biggest room naturally. More space in here. A view of the complex also. Slight view of the pool. But generally, you no know, Bromo Park is a higher neighborhood, so you must be seeing pretty houses when you look outside. That's most of the view from there. where it's located. There's another complex I know, it's got a view of, there's like a common land where it's mostly green. That one's got a pretty decent view. Hopefully, I'll have a video of the place one day that I can share. Yeah, so master bedroom, the biggest room. Yeah, have your drawers here and the headboard. Not a headboard, sorry. You can have your bed somewhere there. You have your bed probably somewhere there. And here you have a chair. And you can install a mirror. As you get ready for work and the like. Makeup and everything, yeah. So, master bedroom also walk-in closet with more space. And more bedrooms and niche. Top there. Bottom. So, we look at one. So, similar design to the others. Where you have your space to hang clothes there and drawers at the bottom. So the master bedroom is self-contained naturally. With this one you have an option of the shower and the toilet. Sorry, shower and the bathtub. <laughs> so you shower there, the sink, and bathtub there. So compared to the other two, the other two there's a shower in one and the other to the bathtub. So the master, I guess the person who pays the bills has to enjoy the money the most. So yeah. Okay, so I think that's it. We've seen everything. Three bedroom Roma Park. Um, Roma Park off the lazy road. Uh, also two bedrooms in the complex in the complex. You can get in touch with me if you'd be interested in the two bedrooms. I'll link uh, I'll put a link to a two bedroom video. It will basically just be a walkthrough. Yeah. So just to give you an idea of what to expect. You can also come finished if that's what you be interested in. Uh, like, share, subscribe, depending on where you're watching from. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Good day.